is SQP3 of unit number 1, 2 and 3. I hope you have watched those two videos. If you haven't watched those two videos, go through the playlist. You will find the first two videos, SQP1 and SQP2. Then come to this video. And in this video, we will see the questions of unit number 1, 2 and 3 only. First question is, what are the fundamental principles of generative AI? The fundamental principle of generative AI is to generate new content autonomously. Okay. Next question is, what are the main types of generative AI models? The main type of generative AI models is auto encodes and generated adversarial network. Option D is correct. Next question, how does generative AI work? Option A, by memorizing large data set, by generating outputs based on learned patterns, by executing predefined algorithm, by exclusively relying on human input. So, chat GPT, uh, sorry, generative AI work by generating output based on learned patterns. Option B is correct. Next one, what is the life cycle of generative AI project? Uh, very important question. What is the life cycle? So analyze the option, you will get the correct answer. Correct answer will be option number B, data cleaning. Sorry, option number A is correct. Data acquisition, then model training, then deployment, and then maintenance. So this is the life cycle. Option A will be correct. Next one, how will generative AI applied in software application? Option A, by improving data storage efficiency, or by automating creative content generation by optimizing network security or by replacing traditional programming language correct option is option number b by automating creative content generation option b is correct moving to the next one what are the ethical consideration of using generative ai is it ensuring transparency and accountability promoting bias and discrimination no Limiting access to AI technology is no. Ignoring social impact on AI development. No. Option A will be correct here. Ensuring transparency and compact accountability. Next one. What distinguishes generative AI model like GPTs from traditional search engine? Very fundamental question. GPTs generate response based on context and understanding. Okay. Le next one. How does generative AI impact businesses and society? So generative AI impact business and society by enabling new opportunity in content creation and automation. Option B will be correct here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, next question is. Yeah, next one. What is the AG framework used? What is the AG framework used for in prompt engineering? So AG framework is to guide guiding the development of effective prompts. Option C will be correct. Next question: What is the role of large language model in prompt engineering? So the role of large language model in prompt engineering is to providing foundational AI capabilities. Option D is correct. Next question, what are the fundamental component of prompts? The fundamental components of prompt is intent and desired output. Option B is correct. Next question, which pattern in prompt engineering focus on refining question for optimal AI response? So as the question suggests, correct option will be option number D, question refinement pattern focuses on refining questions for optimal AI response. Next one, how does the congenitive verifier pattern contribute to prompt development? Correct option is option number B by verifying user intent and response accuracy. Option B will be here. And uh, next question is, what is the audience persona pattern used for in prompt engineering? So audience persona pattern is to Oh, wait, just a minute. Is to defining target audience characteristics. Option B is correct. Next one. 
which pattern in prompt engineering focus on reversing the traditional user interaction model so if we talk about the reversing the traditional user interaction model flipped interaction pattern will be there option a is correct next question how can the template pattern be utilized in prompt engineering is it generating customized response template for ai interaction creating visual templates for prompt in prompt design defining meta language structure for ai understanding or implementing game based interaction with users correct option is option number a generating customized response templates for ai interaction next question what does the recipe pattern involve in prompt engineering so recipe pattern is actually defining a step by step process for ai task option b is correct next question what is the primary purpose of the gameplay pattern in prompt engineering the primary purpose of gameplay pattern is to implementing gamification elements in the ai interaction option a is correct next one how can the meta language creation pattern contribute to effective ai communication option is enabling ai system to understand complex human language and option b is developing novel programming languages for ai integration generating language model from scratch or converting ai generated content into meta language formats Correct option is option A, enabling AI system to understand complex human language. Next one, and this is the last question. What role does the expansion pattern play in enhancing prompt effectiveness? Correct option is option number B, expanding prompt variation to accommodate diverse user input. Correct option is option B. Thank you so much. So this was all about your INT four to six. I hope you. Uh, I hope you guys have watched all the videos, all the six or seven videos that I have uploaded for this course. Thank you so much. Bye bye.